Hello friends of Global Technology Television Channel, in this video we will explore the heavy machinery in the metal forging industry and the great skills of the workers. The heavy duty forging process through heating the steel billet includes the following steps. After being processed, the metal will be cast into different types of billet such as bar billet, slab billet, or bloom billet, heating the steel billet. The steel billet is then heated to high temperatures, typically above 1000 degrees Celsius, to soften the steel and prepare it for forging. Hot forging, the red-hot steel billet is then fed into a forging machine or press, where it is compressed and shaped by dyes to create a nearly finished product. Forging billet crane operators play an important role in ensuring the safety and performance of the forging and pressing process. Before starting operations, engineers inspect the crane to ensure that it meets safety standards. This includes testing the electrical system, safety locks, and other protective devices. Engineers use the console to control the crane to move, lift and lower steel billets, and accurately position them. Engineers must know how to safely install steel billets onto the crane. This includes using hooks, cables, and other equipment to ensure that the workpiece is lifted and moved in a stable manner. Forging billet crane operators play an important role in ensuring the safety and performance of the forging and pressing process. Forging process, engineers monitor the forging process, ensuring that the workpiece is positioned correctly and that the forging pressure is sufficient to produce the desired product. Heat treatment, after forging, the product will be heat treated to improve strength and hardness, and refine the grain structure of the steel. Forging process, engineers monitor the forging process, ensuring that the workpiece is positioned correctly and that the forging pressure is sufficient to produce the desired product. After forging, engineers inspect forged products to ensure that they meet technical and safety requirements. A forging billet crane requires knowledge of safety, forging techniques, and practical skills to ensure the process takes place effectively and safely. Heavy-duty hydraulic presses are industrial equipment designed to handle heavy-duty tasks such as punching, bending, shaping, and stretching materials. They are capable of handling tonnage from 2,000 to 15,000 tons and performing basic operations at a high industrial level. Features and advantages of heavy-duty hydraulic press, safety overload valve, to relieve excess hydraulic pressure when default maximum pressure is exceeded, pressure gauge allows sensing and measuring the pressure of liquids with high accuracy. Custom design, pressure, process position, die and stroke speed can be adjusted to meet the specific requirements of the production process. This process ensures that forged steel products have high precision and good mechanical properties, in accordance with the requirements of heavy industry. Finishing the product, finally, the product after being forged and heat treated will be finished through other machining processes such as cutting, grinding, or polishing to achieve the final shape and size. In the manufacturing industry, forging products such as flanges and rings from steel grades such as carbon steel, stainless steel and alloy steel is very important. Each of these steel types has unique properties and applications. Carbon steel, carbon steel contains low to high carbon content, which affects the hardness, strength and bending ability of the steel, low carbon steel has high ductility and is commonly used in plate rolling and billet forging, high carbon steel has high hardness and durability, suitable for the production of tweezers and springs. Stainless steel, stainless steel contains high levels of chromium, which helps resist corrosion and rust, Commonly used in applications requiring high strength and corrosion resistance, such as in the food and medical industries. Alloy steel, alloy steel has a higher alloy content than carbon steel, which enhances hardness, durability, heat resistance and abrasion resistance, often used in applications requiring high durability such as crankshafts and gears. Flanges, threaded flange is a type of flange with a threaded hole inside, allowing connection to pipes without welding, 
other types of flanges such as weld neck flanges, weld end flanges, and cage flanges are also manufactured from these steels to meet different needs in piping. Rings, forged rings are typically made from stainless steel or alloy steel and are used to create strong connections in piping systems. These products all play an important role in the construction and maintenance of industrial piping systems, ensuring they operate efficiently and safely. Forgings, flanges and rings from carbon steel, stainless steel and alloy steel are of great importance in many different industries. Ensuring safety and durability, forged products such as flanges and rings play an important role in connecting pipes and mechanical equipment, ensuring the safety and durability of the system. Compatibility Flanges are made from different types of steel to suit different working environments, from water, air, gas, oil, to corrosive chemicals. Low production cost, flanges made from carbon steel have a good price, are wear-resistant and durable, helping to save costs for businesses. Diverse applications these products are widely used in industries such as chemical processing, petroleum, food and beverage, shipbuilding, and many others. Easy installation and maintenance, threaded flange allows easy connection without welding, making installation and maintenance more convenient. Overall, forgings, flanges and rings from these steels play an indispensable role in the construction and maintenance of industrial piping systems, ensuring their efficient and safe operation. The heating process for flange forging usually includes the following steps, raw material preparation, select suitable raw steel, which can be carbon steel, stainless steel, or alloy steel depending on the requirements of the final product. Heating steel, steel is put into a medium frequency electric furnace to heat to a high temperature, usually about 1,600 to 1,700 degrees Celsius. This helps the steel reach a ductile state and easily deform during the forging process. Heating the forging mold, the metal mold is preheated to a temperature of about 800 to 900 degrees Celsius to maintain a constant temperature, helping the forging process proceed smoothly. Flange forging, a red-hot steel billet is placed into a forging die and high pressure is applied to create the desired shape. This process may include pre-forging and final forging, depending on the complexity of the flange. Cooling and finishing, after forging, the flange is cooled naturally or through a heat treatment process to improve its mechanical properties. Finally, the flange is machined to achieve high precision and a smooth surface. This process ensures that the flange has the strength and precision required for applications in piping systems and other industries. Workers directly involved in the flange forging process play an important role in creating quality products and meeting industry requirements. Here are some of the jobs they commonly perform. Prepare raw materials. Workers prepare steel raw materials, check the quality and size of steel billet before putting it into the forging process. Heating steel. Workers put the steel billet into the heating furnace to reach the necessary temperature for the forging process depending on the different type of steel. Flange forging. Workers use forging machines or forging dies to shape and compress steel billet into the desired flange. Product inspection. After forging is completed, workers inspect the products to ensure that they meet technical and safety requirements. These workers make an important contribution to the production of high-quality flanges for pipeline systems and other industries.
Flange quality also depends on strict production and quality inspection processes, from raw material selection to processing and final product inspection. This ensures that the flange can operate effectively over a long period of time and minimizes the risk of damage or accidents due to technical errors. SMS Group carried out the installation of the 540mn press at Weber Metals, part of the Otto Fuchs Group. This is the strongest and most advanced hydraulic pull-down die press in the world, designed to produce larger and lighter aerospace components. Press has a total capacity of 540 meganewtons, equivalent to 60,000 short tons. Dot, this press is not only the world's largest closed press, but also the most technologically attractive press. It uses an intelligent pressing process, achieving high precision and excellent automation and digitization. Below are some technical specifications of the press with a maximum pressure of 540 meganewtons. Maximum pressure, 540 meganewtons, cylinder diameter, D240, D200 mm, working pressure, 140-180 bar, travel, 510 mm. Pressing process, after the steel billet is heated at the appropriate temperature for each type and put into the pressing position between the top and bottom die placed between two mold pieces, the extremely large pressure force leads die from top down while below die stands. Thereby creating precise products. The world's largest pressing technology with advanced digital machines with more than 3,000 integrated sensors operates as well as monitors and controls throughout the machine's working process. This automation process is not only powerful but still extremely accurate. Reduce errors in the final product.